Hi again, we're back for another week. Uh, we got uh, three more shows left this month. So if uh, you want to come on the show, if you want to talk to us about the show, if you want to be on the show, if you want to be around the show, if you want to sit in the boot with Oscar, come on down. If you want to give us a call tonight, we're at 312-738-1060. It is a live call-in show, and we have some people that are going to be calling in tonight because we got some good news from down south, and uh, hopefully you'll like it too. I know I did. Anyways, my name is Patrick Jones. I am the president of Chicago Bait, and I've been the president of Chicago Bait for too damn long. Oscar is uh, the next. I'm grooming him to be president. He's shaking his head already. Don't shake your head, Oscar. This is, it's going to happen. You know, it's like, it's like prison sex. It's going to happen, whether you like it or not. Yes. Anyways, speaking of prison sex, uh, let's, let's read the, the mission statement. The mission of Abate of Illinois is to preserve the universal right to a safe, unrestricted motorcycling environment and to propose and advocate actions that can be taken by elected officials to protect and conserve the natural resources of the state of Illinois and ensure through professional management that sustainable use, recreational opportunities, and enjoyment of the resources is available for this and future generations. Very nice statement. This is on all of our applications. If you ever want to become a member, just fill one of those damn things out. All you got to do, fill it out, get it to me, get it to Oscar, get it to one of our board members, you'll be a member. You get a newsletter, cool patch, you know, with a year rocker on it. Um, I've got a lot of them. Uh, mine start, I think, 86 or 87, and I'm good till... I think I expire in 21. I have to ask Danny. Danny, if you're watching tonight, when do I expire, damn it? I gotta know. All right. Now that we've read that, that's uh, Harper's thing. You know, we have to read it for him. Okay. We have some stuff coming up that I want to talk to you about. First thing we got coming up, the most important thing we have coming up. This is going to be in one week, week and a half. It's our 33rd annual Spring Fling out at LeBau Woods, Saturday, June 15th, the day before Father's Day. So, ladies, grab your man, bring him here for Father's Day. Feed him food, let him drink all the beer he can drink, and we got a surprise how we're doing the beer this year. It's at LeBau Woods, that's Foster and Cicero. If you can't find it, look for the signs. Oscar will be out there hanging signs and doing all kinds of other stuff. Trophies are ordered. So, uh, let's see. What trophies do we have? We have uh, <clears throat> Weenie Bite, Slow Race, President's Choice. Um, by the way, Weenie Bite, two trophies. One for you, one for your lady. Or, if it's Lady, Lady, Guy, Guy, either way, there's two trophies for the Weenie Bite. You want to get in on that. Trust me. That's coming up. We also have uh, our membership meeting is coming up the Wednesday after. That's going to be June 19th at the brewery. We meet uh, every third Wednesday of the month. We meet at the meeting starts at 7.30. Lately, we've been sitting outside, having a good time out there. So if you want to come to a meeting, don't have to be a member. You can just stop in, say hi. You don't like it, leave or stay in the bar. Just leave the meeting if you don't like it. Also, while you're at the meeting, you can get all of this cool stuff right here. All of this swag. Wait, I'm going to put all kinds of swag up here. This is the stuff that Oscar just gives you when you show up to the meeting. He doesn't care. Anybody who shows up. He gives these to truck drivers, too. I've seen him give these. He, he sent, Oscar hangs out at truck stops and gives these to people. He's like, hey, truck driver, put this on your ugly-ass truck, okay? Because, you know, cover up some rust with some of these. Anyways... You want some of this stuff? Come on down to the meeting. Come on down, see Oscar. Also, get your bait bucks from Oscar. Oscar give you a, a bait bucks towards any kind of products that we have. We do have something else coming up June 20, 20 to the 23rd. That is the state party down in Petersburg. Petersburg is down by uh, Springfield, if I recollect. Um, live bands. They've got uh, some really good stage shows. You want to go down and see it, you can join right there. You can join at the gate. Um, if you're an AMA member, if you're an MRF member, or any other motorcycle rights organization member, you can go on in, you know. Or, like I said, you can join a bait that day and become a full-fledged member. Now, when you fill out that application, this one right here, when you fill it out, 
there's a little spot right over here and it asks you for your chapter preference some place yeah right here it says chapter preference you you put in whatever chapter you think you want to belong to if you don't fill in your chapter preference what they'll do is they'll look and say okay this guy lives out towards Addison let's put him in the Duquesne chapter or um, borderline Chicago so they'll figure it out for you if you can't figure it out for yourself uh, the other thing we have is this little thing that they give you and everybody should be going everybody should have gone through this already with their bike you know the t-clock it's called right t-clock Oscar I didn't swear that time I said it right so you should have gone through this already checking everything on your bike making sure everything's up and running correctly if not stop at a shop stop at any kind of shop a Harley shop an Indian shop a Honda shop Triumph motorcycle shop, whatever, and ask them. Say, hey, you know what? Uh, bike's been sitting all year. Bike's been sitting a year and a half. I just put a battery in it. I want to ride it. <clears throat> first thing you want to do, and this is the absolute first thing you want to do, check your tires. Make sure there's no cracks. Okay, cracking, it'll explode. Oscar and I were sitting out in the ante room or whatever they call it, and I was reading something and. I was looking at something that Chuck's Harley Davidson's doing down in Bloomington. So, a couple years ago, Dan Harper, our vi former vice president, current PR guy, um, all around guy, we we're going to Missouri on a nice little road trip, hanging out. Speaking of Missouri, we're going to be talking to those guys pretty soon. We're going down and uh, heard a pop. We're about five miles out of Bloomington. So, we were gonna. We stopped for breakfast. Went in, had a nice breakfast. Bob Evans down on the farm. Okay. Yes, I didn't go to Cracker Barrel that time. So stopped in. Ate, walked outside, lit up a cigar, went to get on the bike and back it out of the spot and couldn't back it out. I was like, what the hell's going on here? So flat tire. Looked at it. Chuck's Harley Davidson came out and got me. Okay. It was hot as hell that day, and I mean hot. They got me, got me back to their shop, took the bike in the back. We went out in front, nice cool area. They gave us some drinks, you know, sit down, relax. The guy calls me back, and I'm not joking, a, a hole the size of your fist that you can put your fist in this hole in the tire, right in the sidewall. Don't know how it happened, but must have had an angel riding on my shoulder that day. Anyways, they saved the trip for me. They saved everything, and we bought some stuff over right there, and we hung out because my previous experience at Chuck's wasn't fun. You know, uh, that one I'll tell you about later. <clears throat> but Chuck's, thank you guys. You guys saved my trip. Um, the other thing we got going on is there's a few parties this weekend. We'll talk about that later if uh, little Tommy and T want to call in and talk about the party they got going on. Give us a call. Our number is 312-738-1060. It's right there on the screen. Yes, you can call us. Oscar is waiting patiently for your call. So, our membership meetings. When you come to our meetings, <clears throat> you're going to get a report from all our officers. You're going to find out what's going on legislatively. And uh, to the person that just texted me, so we do read text messages. If you have my phone number, you can text me. Yes, it does say 30 behind me. It's been more than 30. We will update that, okay? Yes, we will update it. It'll say 34, 33, whatever it's supposed to be. People are rude. Anyways, um, at our membership meetings, you're going to hear what's going on around the state, other chapters. Uh, like I showed you tonight, uh, the state party... Uh, Duquesne's got their knees in the breeze coming up. Uh, let me see if I can find that for you real quick. That's always a good time. Go out and see Judy and the guys. Uh, they're out west, out west of us. You'll get legislative reports. You'll find out what's going on through the state legislatively. Um, any stupid bills coming up, any kind of crap that they're trying to push through, you'll find out about that. So all you got to do is pop in. So we have a caller. So 
Put him through, Oscar. <coughs> Go ahead, caller. Yeah, yeah this, this is Joe Wimmer with Freedom Road, Road Riders. Riders. Asking me to call. call. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? All right, how are you, you doing? doing? Good. Do you have uh, your TV or radio or internet on in the background? If you could turn that down. Okay. okay. My girlfriend's, My girlfriend's got it on her phone. phone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. All right. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Joe Wimmer. I'm Freedom, Freedom Road, Road Riders. Riders. Uh, they're a lobbyist. Uh, not a lobbyist. Um, they're a legislative board coordinator. And uh, we, got we got our, our helmet, helmet modification bill through this year, year and it's on, on the governor's desk. desk. Okay, and what were the uh, what were the rules that they were imposing on that? Uh, you have, you have to be motorcycle qualified, carry a helmet, and be over eighteen. Okay, so it wasn't that bad, right? No, no, not really. really. I mean, I've been through Missouri, so when is he expected to sign this? Uh, well, we're not, not really sure he has to July 12. Okay, now, does it sunset if he doesn't sign it? Does it go into law, or yeah, how does it work? Uh, if he doesn't, doesn't sign it, it'll go into the back back long 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 long. Okay, so he either signs it, vetoes it, or it just goes into law. So that's pretty cool. I love riding yeah. through Missouri. I got family down there, down in Dexter, and... Uh, I got a brother down there that wants to buy a motorcycle but don't like helmets. Right. You know. And he rides on his own land with his motorcycle, so he's got a dirt bike yeah. down there. And what does Bill do essentially give people, people choice, choice whether they, they want to wear, wear one or not? Not that we mandate um, not wearing one, it just gives us the freedom of choice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We've had it here forever, so, I mean. Yes, I follow every state. I don't know if you knew that, but I do. I follow all the stuff that's going on through all the different states, and ski's a big help, too. I know I know you know ski. Right. And, uh, yeah, man, congratulations. We're happy for you guys, because I love riding down there. I love riding here, too. <laughs> well, come on up to Illinois. You don't even have to bring one with you. I hear you. All right, brother, I got another caller. Uh, thanks for calling in, and you guys ride safe down there. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we do have another caller, Oscar. Go ahead, caller. Well, hey, what's going on over there in the great city of Chicago? Well, we're having a good time, and we're uh, kind of celebrating you guys' win. Well, it, uh, we've, this is Tony with A8 Missouri. I just heard Joe Woodmer on there. Super great guy. Uh, yeah. Legislative with Freedom Road Riders. We've... We've done very well. Uh, just a, it, it's one of those perfect storms that just kind of came together, and we made it. So let me ask you a question. Here's the big one. Did you have to give anything up? Everybody gives something up with legislation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the main thing we got back, freedom. Yeah, really. You know, Get the government out of my life. Give me my freedom. Uh, you know, we're we're not, and this is what comes up in some conversation. We're not banning the helmet. We're not outlawing the helmet. Uh, you know, as as far as and and I think I can speak for Joe too, and all of us out there. You know, we still recommend wearing a helmet when you're riding. That's not a problem. But with this legislation, you have the choice. You have your freedom to wear it or not, depending on how you personally feel. Exactly. And you're going to have riders up to the age of 18 that have to wear one, correct? That is correct. Uh, the way the law states, <clears throat> 18 and over, you have to be motorcycle qualified, and you do have to have just a medical insurance card. Uh, that can mean... Uh, what Aetna, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, you know, whatever on there, your VA, uh, your Medicare, Social Security card, you know, whatever you have that says health insurance. Right. That's it. That's been a long time coming. I know that because, like I said, I love riding through Missouri. You know, that's a fun state to be in. I got family down there, and what well, last time I was down there, I got to, I got about maybe 30 miles in, and I had to take it off because I'm not used to it. And I just decided I'll pay the 25 bucks. 
I'm going to be there for four days. Write me four tickets. I'll give you the hundred and let me go on my way. So we didn't get stopped, though. You know, we passed uh, state troopers. We passed everybody from every time we went through. And I mean, some people, you know, they did one of these, but not the police. They just left us alone. Yeah, most of the you know most of the cops and Leos around in here are pretty cool, and you you always got that one sitting out there that just didn't quite have the oatmeal right in the morning, and, and yeah. they will wrap you, believe me. Well, you got to have the new guys, you know. They got to have something to do. Yes, you you you, <laughs> you you know you 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 don't have a good day till you got stopped by the cops, right? It ain't, right. It ain't a party till the cops show up. See, here's the bad thing, though, is. Not a lot of them are going to get all the legislation. We did the the dead red bill. You know what that is? Yep, we did the same thing. Okay. Uh, I know Ski real well. Ski and I, and then uh, same thing with a lot of them. I've actually got uh, Abate uh, Missouri going. I'm their lobbyist. But uh, I'm also a member of Abate Illinois. I live right here in O'Fallon outside St. Louis, so I'm oh, okay. in Illinois all the time. So more than used to you. Yeah, I know Ski. Damn it. Yeah. Well, too bad, because you're by Glen Carbon, too, and that's where my brother lives. <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> yep. No, so, we, we have a good time with uh, uh, ABED Illinois, with uh, old Bob and, and Legs and everybody. It's, it's We've traded legislation back and forth. Uh, we've pilfered each other's secrets, and, and we've, we've paid respect to everybody and had a good time doing it. Well, you know what's going to happen, though? The police are going to be issuing tickets and bogging up the courts and... They're just going to be throwing tickets out left and right because I worked as a police officer, uh, part-time auxiliary police officer, and they don't get that information right away. You know, the dead red stuff didn't come down to the police stations. We actually were carrying those little cards saying, hey, here's the Illinois State statute. Look it up, you know. Yeah. So that's going to suck for the courts for a little bit, and the police are going to be pissed off a little, but what are you going to do? Well, I agree. It uh, communication skills uh, around anywhere. Uh, Missouri, Missouri is well known to be the show me state, and yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time to, you know, most of the state patrol, the troopers out there we work with, really great folks, and, and they got word on it. But uh, you're correct. Uh, it's going to take a while to filter through. What we need to remember is it has not been signed yet. Uh, the governor has till I believe it's July 12th. Even when he signs it, it will not take effect until August 28th. Okay. So, so uh, it doesn't it doesn't just pop right in because we passed a bill. It doesn't, right. it doesn't work, that way, guys. So whether he signs it or not, it's going to go into effect in August. There's three things can happen. Uh, right. I think Joe uh, referred it there too. You know, he can. He can sign it, he can let it sit on his desk, and it's uh, we call that a pocket bill. Right. Or he can veto it, and we're, we're really not looking forward to that. Uh, Governor Parson has been a really fair man. Uh, he has passed uh, this as when he was a legislator two times previously. Uh, we've talked to his staff up in there. They don't see a problem with it. Now, there are a couple. This was what they call an omnibus bill, so it had the helmet and other issues on the bill. There's a couple other pieces on there that might be a little shaky. Um, last word that we're getting in that it shouldn't be a problem, patience. Well, patience. Yeah, you just got to wait. I mean, the last time a real good one came up in Illinois, it was the best one that ever came up. Um, the Senate got trounced, and... The uh, speaker pro tem that day was a member of our chapter, Senator James DeLeo. And uh, my partner was watching it in the squad car. I was watching it in the house. And we were just laughing because they, they trounced it. I think they got two yes votes, and the rest were all no <laughs> votes. You know, so we, we do have some members that are uh, legislators, you know. Yeah. So, but I'm happy for you guys, man. You know, we got to do a two-state party. You know, we'll do. We'll bring back the helmet roast. We'll put it right in the middle, right on the border. We do want to do that. Uh, we've talked to a uh, uh, real quick shout out if, if anybody's listening. Senator Burleson and uh, Representative Roden uh, have been the champions of this for a long, long, long time. <clears throat> and uh, actually, Senator Holzman, all the way the other side of the state in Kansas City, associated with a couple of Harley shops, he got behind us. 
And then uh, Jared Taylor, Representative Taylor, was there on the House floor. And as it passed the House, the last word that was said as that bill ended, he raised up his hand and he goes, freedom. Wow. That's pretty cool. Hey, listen, I don't want to cut you off, but we're going to be running out of time soon. But what I need you to do is get me your address and everything on Facebook or whatever. Get a hold of me. And I'll get you guys a couple copies of the show, and you can show them at your meetings. How's that? Hey, that works out good. Uh, Facebook page is just Abate for Missouri. I know what it is. In fact, I've got the Abate for Missouri patch. There you go. There you go. Hey, thanks for calling in, brother. I, a, I think one time I was a Chicago Abate member, too. Somebody rascaled me into that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say any other beverage might have been involved. Well, you know what? Stuff like that happens up here in Chicago. <laughs> Did you register to vote while you were here? <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm not a Democrat. I only vote once. They didn't really get you then. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in. Congratulations, man. We'll get you some CDs so this way you can show them at your meetings. I appreciate it. You guys stay stay good. We're, okay. we're, uh, we're having a good time, hopefully, on both <clears throat> sides of the river now. Have a good one. All righty. Just keep on remembering freedom. Thank you. All righty, see ya. Okay, so that's all our updates from Missouri for tonight. Uh, I hope everybody gets a chance to ride down there. I know everybody in our state that's south of I-80, they get through there all the time. Uh, now I know my little brother, James, if you're watching, you know, when I call you and say, hey, we're in Missouri, you don't got to muss up your hair because he worries about messing up his hair, Oscar. He really does. That and chips in his bike. He's painted his bike more times than anybody I know. I got a chip. Hey, you gonna meet us for a ride? Uh, I got the bike in for paint. What happened? Chip and defender. Okay, paint defender. No, I took the whole thing apart to paint it. <clears throat> Not good. Anyways, state party. Make sure you come out to that. June 23rd, 20th through the 23rd. That's out in Petersburg, Illinois. Not far from Missouri, anyway. <clears throat> Adults only. Remember that. There's going to be adult entertainment. And let me tell you about the adult entertainment. It's fun. I've been in on it. Okay? I've been entertained. Really entertained. Okay. State party. Don't forget. Spring fling. Sling, spring. Coming up. Got to be at this one. Come on out and support us. <clears throat> Come on out. Show us some love. Show us some respect. We are the guys that are busting our asses. Every day, every day, this is not a joke. Every day, I'm on this phone doing something for a bait. No joke. Doing something for motorcycling. At work, I get a lot of calls. <laughs> not even joking. So, do I do it because just people have my number? Yeah, probably because, you know what? If I didn't love motorcycling so much, you wouldn't have my phone number. We wouldn't be on this show. Somebody else would be here sitting there going, yeah, we're... Remember, wear your helmets. No, that's not how it goes. And one last time, we are not against helmets. We're not anti-helmet. We're anti-helmet law. We're anti any BS law that they can put in front of us. So if you want to find out more about us, if you want to find out what we do, go to our website, uh, abate-il.org, I believe it is. Right, Oscar? Abate-il.org? Or call Paulie. One... 887 abate. Call Polly and talk to her. And by the way, thanks, Polly. We got the insurance. Party's on, baby. Yes, the spring fling, it's on. We've got the insurance. Harper will be going tomorrow to finish everything up. Before we go, spring fling, one week. Spring fling. I believe we have another show before the spring fling. Yes, we do. Yes, I'm going to be hammering this into you every show until it's over. And then Right after we got the uh, the meeting, that's going to be June 19th at the brewery, 3848 North Harlem Avenue. Come on out and see us. Come on out and say hi. Thanks again to Abate for Missouri, not Abate of Missouri, for calling in. You guys are rocking it down there. Keep kicking ass. Tell the governor, the folks in Chicago said thank you very much for the freedom you're about to provide. We're out.